you know you're doing something right when there's only a couple of people's lights on. I have the best view on campus and you can tell that the top people, the people who are at the top, you know, their lights are on. Nobody else's lights are on. That right there is how you truly know you're doing something right. taking a shower at least once a day we should really have a talk quick physique check morning physique hitting a nice shoulder workout today bro it's gonna be so crazy because in five years I'm gonna look back and think to myself damn I was so small but in reality you know this is the biggest I've ever been but I guess you gotta start somewhere right today <laughs> after you my liege <laughs> that's where we're gonna go eat we're not really allowed to record because it's a private campus but that's why we have this trusty guy right here phone cam it's a new thing on this channel check it out ah. how's it going this morning <laughs> Just do sausage, um, hash browns, please. Want to explain to the camera what happened to your face? Don't fall. <laughs> Why'd you fall, John? <laughs> Why'd you fall? <laughs> I can't really record in here, but it's my only class for the day, which is managerial accounting. The overall class went by really well. It's a two hour session, so W. shoulder day did you have an L view but this kitchen is dope bro literally I mean you can kind of see the courtyard not as good as my view though like if I lived here and had the whole entire thing to myself I'd love it <laughs> pre gym check five years I'm gonna think I'm so small and cringe for doing this literally Checking yourself out. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hit shoulders. We're gonna hit. Uh, that's that's it, right? Shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some nice shoulder workouts. I can't take you guys with me, but what I'm gonna do is I have my phone. Remember, I told you about the phone cam. We're gonna try to finesse our way into recording some clips and getting some shots so we can make this a well-rounded video. Is that your power-up formation, John? <clears throat> what the. F you got some anime bro? Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. you want my 
my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. Yeah, this bay, miss you every day. You like my oxygen. Make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart, no barge in them. From the to the floor to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up. Break you in and break you out. In the end, we gon' make the child. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pals. Misty, we gon' get clips. You don't need a power shot. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. No cap, I'm real. The plastic bars wanna copy my steel. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real. No cap, I'm real. The plastic bars wanna copy my steel. Got my heart, no. Get us every day. Got my heart, no. Phone tap. Let me show you how it works. So this is for my cold callers out there. You take your sales team and whatever acquisition channel you're doing, you put a stop to it and you do cold calling because that's how you play phone tag. You take turns going back and forth, calling different leads, and whoever books the most amount of meetings by the end of the day wins the day. And you get like a consolation prize. Like a pat on the like a good job. Is that you like that? Bet, 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 bet. Let's play. If you don't know, there are three main acquisition channels. You have direct outreach, which is one-to-one -one or one to many. You have media, which is paid or organic. And you have referrals, which means word of mouth, affiliates, etc. Check out DealHub's page for more information. Now look, I can't show you guys everything because we did have a lot of personal conversations with business owners, but I'll show you the voicemails that we left just so you can get an overview of what we sound like when we're on the phone. Take a look. Evan, it's MJ. We spoke not too long ago, I wanna say around May 23rd. Uh, we talked about getting you guys some more installs. I'm not too sure if that's really the direction you still wanna go in uh, through paid ads and whatnot, but I'd love to have a quick 30 second chat with you to give you a little bit of information um, that's consistently over month over month. So if you are wanting to go that direction still, um, the best one to reach me out to be my mobile that's sick once again my man this is mj over at deal hub thanks have a good one bye bye but you see how like i was like evan like, evan I was, like, excited to see him type shit <laughs> delete them <laughs> That shit took way too- I've never gotten that far in the song, and I've gotten pretty fucking far. This is Jessica, how can I help you? Hey Jessica, it's John. I was wondering if I could speak to Peter or Jeff. Yeah, um, what's in regards to? Who is so, this? It's John over at Deal Hub. Uh, we've been in contact before, and I'm just following up with him to see if he wants to continue. Uh, to see if he wants to what? Continue into possibly a potential partnership. Oh, okay. Uh, and what company are you with? Deal John. Hub. Uh, I'll take their email and then you can put me through to his voicemail. Okay. Yeah, just confirm real quick. Jeff. Yes, sir. All right, thank you so much, Jessica. Can you put me through to his voicemail, please? Absolutely. One sec. Hey, Elena. I've been wanting to get in touch with Peter for a little bit now. I was wondering if he was still interested. Uh, again, my name is John over at Deal Hub. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye. Regardless, it's the same thing. It's not! <clears throat> There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> That's on video. This is never going public. Never. How do we tell them, chat? You guys are never seeing this we side of me. Hey TJ, it's MJ over at Deal Hub. I haven't been able to get patched through to you in a couple of months now, but we spoke, I want to say around May, about getting you guys some new consistent installs on a consistent monthly basis. If you're still wanting to do that, I'd love to have a quick 30 second chat with you. 
Once again, this is MJ, the best way to reach me out to me on my mobile over at Tissing. This is MJ. Thanks everyone. Bye bye. <laughs> Help you? <laughs> <laughs>people out there that watch my channel you know I'm big big on self-improvement focus and ultimately becoming your best self and part of that is the lessons that you learn that come along with the journey this is something that I learned a long time ago I haven't been gatekeeping but I'm gonna share with the sauce with you right now for the people who need it rule number one never and I repeat never let someone else dictate your actions the only time you should ever change your actions is if you yourself is the one that are putting it in motion otherwise don't change up for anybody be yourself. Do what you are normally going to do despite whatever happens in the world around you. That's the sauce. That's key number one to confidence. Because why on earth would I let someone else's insecurities dictate my actions? You see what I'm saying? So literally, lay it on the sauce. If you want to be more confident, it starts internally. It starts with really, really, really not giving a f about what other people think about you and how other people respond to what you do. got done with my full work session I had two assignments that I need to complete I had a sociology assignment which I'm doing intro to social 101 and then I had a managerial accounting assignment I'm in accounting 203 I got 100 on both of them so that's always a W the next thing on my to-do list is to plan on my day I kind of have a weird structure when it comes to planning my day a lot of people have asked me about it this is exactly how at 19 I stay productive and stay up top of everything in terms of school content and business so it's a very, very simple process. Anything that falls under any of these categories is just a straight brain dump. So once I populate all of my to-dos uh, in here for the week, um, I'll look at it on a day-by-day -day basis. I'll go to my Google Calendar and then I'll go to say tomorrow. I already have some stuff in here like my morning routine. I read in the mornings. I like to get breakfast and I have three classes. And then I have my health and fitness, I have my lunch, etc. So I already have that kind of stuff populated in there. Anything else that's like extraneous to school, I'll have to add that in. So watch me do that real quick. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do.
I just got done populating my calendar. Just give you guys a brief overview of what it's saying. So I wake up, you know, 6 a.m. I like to read in the morning for about 30 minutes. The book I'm currently reading is $100 million Leads by Alex Ramosi. If you didn't check out his event, go check it out. It was like the Super Bowl for entrepreneurs. It was, it was dope. Um, then I'm eating breakfast at 7. That's right when they open. From there, I'm going to be doing post-production on my short-form content film that I'm going to be shooting tonight. Um, then I have business law as my first class at 8.30. That's from 8.30 to 9.40. From there, I'm just going to walk to class to sociology, which is from 10 to 11.15. Um, then I'm going to eat lunch right after that. And then for 30 minutes, it doesn't take me that long to eat. It can get quite confusing, but if you have the right systems in place, I guarantee you that this, you can really, really maximize the 16 hours that you're awake. You really, really can. I'm going to shoot that short form video right now. I'll make sure to let you guys check that video out. And then I'm pretty much checked out for the rest of the night. So... This is the college routine that's going to help me master productivity as a 19 year old at the University of Tampa. Typically in the mornings, I'm more sore from my workout from the day prior, so I make sure to stretch a bit before getting out of bed. I wear my retainer at night to keep my teeth straight, but that always gives me bad breath. Can't skip the oral hygiene. And please brush your retainer. Very, very crucial. During this time, I don't like to be on my phone, but I'll listen to my favorite podcast, either The Game or Build by The Hermoses. I use Vanny Cream as my main face wash because it's more gentle on my face and really wakes me up. Despite what all these gurus say, you don't need a two hour morning routine in order to produce quality work. So I like to focus on the basics. The most successful people never don't do the basics. And that's what I'm trying to be. So I'll get dressed, flex a little bit, and make my bed to deter me from getting back in it. Then I'll read for 30 minutes to get it out of the way. I'm currently reading $100 million leads by Alex Ramosi. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help and support the channel so that I know that you guys like this kind of content and I can keep creating it for you. But yeah, without further ado, I appreciate the support. Peace. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time, watch.